that 99% of us is totally unaware of. All these forest fires, that's not no accident. Go ahead. They got deep state uh, private militaries with private bases on private land all across the, you know, North America, Canada, and even some in Central and South America. So they've been using what we, what they call uh, um, low casualty um, weapons, basically strategic strikes with lasers. Um, all this is part of the Star Wars. If you go back to Ronald Reagan in the Star Wars program, you can study they, they laser beams been running. Uh, they've been using lasers in um, from satellites. Now, the irony of that is, according to Flat Earthers, we don't have no satellites up there. Go ahead. According to Flat Earthers, we in a closed dome. And according to Flat Earthers, they can't put the satellites outside the dome. The irony of that is... If you're a flat earther, you got to explain where's these energy weapons because no planes is visible. Where are they coming from? Right. You don't see no airplanes shooting the energy weapons, so where is they coming from? That's just uh, some food for thought, but um, th it is World War Four right now. Whether we know it or whether we don't know it, the war getting fought. Go ahead. What we trying to do is let the people know that it's a whole lot of stuff going on in our face, behind our back. Everything we can't see. Okay. It's a lot of political moverings going on. A lot of uh, misinformation, disinformation. That's part of the, the media influential program. Mm -hmm. Right. But where we're trying to get to is a critical mass of awareness in the masses of the people about their self identity. Mm -hmm. Because when they gonna have to people gonna have to start tracing back to the oldest living matriarch in their family. They're gonna have to start tracing back their heritage to where they're from on the land in order to tie back into the tribes. So whatever going on, sooner or later. We gonna be with no power for anywhere from thirty minutes to ninety days. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'm gonna tell you this: in the event that they shut everything down, if we don't know how to uh, how to purify water, we in trouble. If you can't walk down to the lake, grab a bucket of water and know how to make it potable to eat, cook, and drink, you got a problem. These are things we need to look at. That's right. If you don't know somebody with a firm, what you gonna do when the grocery stores close down? That's what right. you gonna do? Right? Because the grocery stores ain't gonna be able to run when the money ain't no good. That's the BRICS nations killing the American dollar in our face in real time. We watching it, but we don't think that it's gonna affect us until it affects us. So whatever going on with Trump, it's going to be a wake up call in the end. Man, you and really shit right now on, on far as like getting ready. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, the proper preparation prevents poor performance is what the, my literature tells me. So to be properly prepared, like I can live off the fat of the land. I know how to I go hunt me some pigeons. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I go hunt some pigeons. I go fishing. I can feed me. Right. Go ahead. Right. And I got enough know-how. I know how to farm. Right. I've been I've been doing gardens with my mama since I can remember. My mom used to tell me when we were doing the garden, and I thought she didn't know what she was talking about at the time. But she said, baby, there's going to come a time where if you don't know how to grow no food, you're not going to be able to eat. Mm. That's why I'm teaching you how to garden. That's why I got you out here while the other kids is playing, but you helping me in the garden. And you know me. I don't care, mama. Where do you want me to put these collard greens at? Right over here, baby. Put them right here next to these uh these other collard greens in a straight line. Yeah. Right? 
So I'm in I'm in the garden with my mama learning how to grow food. My siblings, some of them came out sometimes. I was out there all the time. See, in our culture, one of the men in the family had to learn how to grow food, catch food, whatever it is. I went hunting with my father when I was a little boy because he said that he needed his sons to know what it was like to go out and have to shoot a rabbit. So we took a couple hound dogs from one of my five friends' neighbor, went out there with rabbit hunting. The snow was up to my knee. I'm a baby, five, six years old. But you know what? I had the time out of my life learning how to hunt with pops. Go ahead. That's right. Right. These is cultural teachings that we used to teach the boys years ago. Man, we don't even go hunting no more. Look, they took hunting because it required you to have a firearm. And a license. Nobody from a, nobody in none of the tribes was allowed to own a firearm. If you got caught with one, they rule was to shoot your ass first and ask questions later. Man. Because you was, was assumed to be a domestic terrorist. Go ahead. Because you were belligerent to the system that said motherfuckers look like us don't carry firearms. That was a rule. The, matter of fact, if you want to check it out, pull up the recent Supreme Court ruling on the uh, right to bear arms, and they rever they just reversed it about two weeks ago. Damn. So we wasn't even you know, all this time we thinking we pardon party to the Constitution. We was excluded. As three fifths other, damn, it's right in there. All uh, we was taxed three fifths, right? Where did that come from? Do the POWs? If you a POW, you couldn't afford to be fully taxed. So all of the ones that's three fifth compromised, Dred Scott sleeper agents, they don't even know they working. Who they working for, but they know they working for somebody. Right. But they don't know who it is because you ain't gonna never see Mr. Charlie face. Who is Mr. Charlie? You remember the last uh receipt drop I gave you right, a little earlier today, right before we got started? Yeah, I got I got them all. I'm about to show you who Mr. Charlie is. His name was Charles the Fifth or Carlos Cinco. Can you see my screen? Mm hmm. Uh, uh, so we all heard that term in the hood, in the country. We was worried about Mr. Charlie, Mr. Shackleford. Who is these people? Shackleford yeah, right. is our actual last name. Where they come from? See it? Mm hmm Okay, you see what he looked like, right? Yeah. A lot of them. All right. Remember what he looked like for the next picture. Okay. Read what it say. It say Holy Charles V was yeah. Holy Roman Emperor and Archduke of Austria from 1519 to 1556. King of Spain from fifth King of what? Spain. Spain. From 1516 to 1556, and Lord of the Netherlands as titular Duke of Burgundy. Burgundy is Red House. That's a Moulin Rouge. Okay. Right? That's the Red House, the Burgundy. From 1506 to 1555. Okay. Now, go over two pictures to your right. It's going to be a picture of a native. Wait a minute. Go back one. Go back one. Okay, it's another picture like that, but it's just two people on it. Okay. Matter of fact, see that picture right there? Yeah, right here. Zoom in on that picture. Okay, now look for the cross. Go down into the body of it. See the man with the cross on the right? Just you just passed him. All the way to the right on that line. 
Right there. Right here. This dude right here, I'm coming to load up. Right here. Remember, we said they look like us, but they ain't us. And here, he's called Carlos Quintos. Yeah. All right. Now, remember, we showed you the George Washington Feds Memorial of the Dirty Moors. Now you're looking at uh -huh. the right. agreements being made with the chiefs to go into a conflict with the cross. It's right here. If you look at the staffs, you got three of them on a right shoulder. What I tell you, you know, would you at least say they came in high? Left bump, hostile bump. Hostile on the left bump. Now the yeah. first three in this row to the uh to the okay, it's five people to the right of King Charles. Notice yeah. what King Charles is doing with his hand. He pointing to something. His left hand is pointing to the cross. That's right. Right? Now, the the first chief is facing me. Right? Yeah. And he's pointing his staff directly at his face, not at the cross. Right? He's saying it's a head shot. Go ahead. He's pointing to his head. Now, if you look, do he look pink? No. It, is that a pale face man right there? No. no. Now go back to the last picture when we just read who he was. What that face look like? Pale face. 